The worst drought in seven decades has reduced Italy's largest river to dry soil and sandbanks. It is a very serious situation because it's persisted for many months, from a dry autumn last year to a winter with little snow and a very hot spring. This year we had 120 days without rain. In addition, temperatures have been hovering at 3 to 4 degrees above the average. The result is dangerously low water resources. For example, at the end of the river in the province of Ferrara, the flow is 164 cubic metres a second. This time last year, it was 800 cubic metres a second. The northern regions of Lombardy, Piedmont, Veneto and Emilia-Romagna have asked the government to declare a state of emergency to activate federal assistance. This district produces 40% of Italy's agriculture, but as you can see, water is struggling to reach the fields that are desperately in need. The National Farmers Association estimates billions of dollars in losses. We have problems with corn, tomatoes, Turkish grain, and all the agriculture that contributes significantly to GDP. The Po district is also responsible for 55% of Italy's hydroelectricity, which is operating at less than 60% capacity. The economic impact is enormous, but also the environmental impact, because to substitute the current generated by hydroelectricity, we have to burn fossil fuels, emit CO2 and pay a lot for gas. Water restrictions have been imposed in the worst affected areas and authorities are on high alert for bushfires. There is a big concern about the high fire risk, and so we're focusing on all the prevention methods possible, including educating residents. For example, a cigarette butt is enough to start a fire that will burn out of control. An alarming summer which has only just begun. Hermione Kitson, CGTN, Po River District, Italy.